Hello there, Taurus. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of December 2023. Thanks for being here. I hope you find uh, the messages that you need to hear. Um, keep in mind, it is a general reading, so not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. Don't forget you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, and I am also available for personal readings. All of my information as well as uh, the information about my Blessed and Dressed 7-Day Devotional Candles and Milk and Honey Spiritual Baths can be found in the description box under the video. So let's see what's going on in Love and Relationships for the Sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. We're going to pull an overall energy message first. And I do appreciate seeing all of your wonderful comments. So don't be shy. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below if this message resonates with you. All right, so we've got the black cat. Your luck will soon change. Well, somebody is like a black cat here. <laughs> Or there's been a bit of uh, superstition around something. Uh, maybe you've been going through a challenging time, um, but your luck will soon change. Um, some of you may actually have a black cat. And then you've got fire, reckless actions lead to conflict. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but I feel like you've been running around like your hair's on fire. Um, I feel like... Um, Somebody might have started an argument with you. Uh, something was said out of turn, off the cuff, that didn't rub you the right way. Um, or you you just need to ground yourself. I don't feel like there's, there's a need to panic right now is what I'm picking up. What else is going on here? Someone could be literally... Um, Working as an EMT or um, in a fire department, emergency or first responder. Um, I also feel like you just don't have any patience for people who are just, just don't have a filter. <laughs> See what else is going on for you, Taurus. Knight of Cups. Two of Wands. Seven of Swords. Four of Wands. Six of Cups. Okay, you are definitely dealing with someone from your past here. There could also be children involved here. There are mutual feelings of love and affection. I feel like somebody... It might be coming back around to apologize for something uh, that they said or did in the past that they didn't think about what they were doing at the time. I feel like um, there's just a lot of regret here. But I feel like somebody is willing to risk and take a chance here. I feel like they're, they're willing to, they want to take something to the next level here or to make peace in a home that was once a happy home. Um, I feel like somebody, again, was just like kind of all over the place. They, at one point, they were not really wanting commitment or willing to commit, but I feel like now they're they're having a change of heart. I feel like they they said something and they didn't really mean it. Maybe they said, oh, I, I just want to be single. It's just going to be, you know, me and my buddies, you know, me and my, my gal pals, you know, I, you know, don't want to, don't want to get married again, blah, blah, blah. And now all of a sudden they change their mind. Because I think that they don't want to lose you. you. It's like you've brought them, like you've changed their life. You've brought so much like positive energy and good luck to them. It's like their life has gotten better since you uh, showed up in their life. And you also, you know, again, if if they were a bit reckless with your heart before or just they were just out of control before, I feel like they've matured. And I think they're willing to take a chance now. 
and level up this connection. I feel like somebody also took a risk and just spoke their truth and asked for what they wanted, but in a, in a very gentle, loving way. Interesting. All right, let's get another deck. We're going to clarify. This is a really cool reading for you. Really nice messages. Again, it's general. Um, but keep in mind, I am available for personal readings. Um, and uh, yeah, just check out my website if you're so inclined. All right, let's let's uh, clarify this black cat here. So you've got the hermit. So. Somebody has been guided here. Somebody has gone gone within. Um, normally, the hermit is staring into this lantern, which represents their inner light. This could also be a spirit guide. Um, somebody on the other side um, could be dealing with a Virgo here. Somebody with dark hair. Um but somebody, I think, has made peace. Like, they're okay being alone. This this hermit is used to being alone, single, isolated. You know, they like their man cave. They're, they're at home with 50 cats. You know, and they're okay with that. You know, and I feel like uh, somebody has decided that they... Maybe they've had so much bad luck and love that they didn't really want to try anymore. So they just kind of gave up. And made peace with the fact that, you know, I might be alone with 50 cats. But I don't think that's what they really want. They don't want that. You don't want that. Somebody has matured here. Somebody's spiritually grown and evolved here. And they've become very wise. Very spiritual, but down-to-earth energy. Um, clarify the Hermit with the Black Cat. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there needs to be reciprocity, equal give and take. Some of you could be involved in some charity or nonprofit type of work, some philanthropy during the holiday season. Um... But I feel like somebody, again, they want more balance in their life. Somebody's coming back around to balance the skills. You've got two sixes here. That's a number of healing and balance. Balancing the scales. This is minor arcana version of the justice card. Um, even though it is the element of earth, which is your element Really beautiful. On the bottom, we've got the Seven of Wands here. So somebody is defending themselves. They're, they're kind of, they've been through a battle here. They're defending their position, protecting themselves, standing up for what they believe in, taking a risk. It's like somebody, somebody knows that they're going to have to take a risk and speak their truth. And ask for what they want and not settle because it's like you you're tired of having to fight these battles on your own here. I feel like you're somebody feels a bit victimized here, like you were attacked and you didn't really get a chance to defend yourself. But it's like you're you're all right with that. You've you know you're making peace with it. Okay. You know that you're coming from your heart, you're speaking from the heart. And um you've already learned all of your past lessons. You know, and you've gained a lot of wisdom by looking back at past actions or past situations you've been involved in. I feel like somebody's coming around to apologize, make peace, and reconcile with you. And, you know, because somebody wasn't afraid to speak up and ask for what they needed. And I think you touched this person's heart in some way, Taurus. 
All right, let's get an advice message for you, and then I'll grab some love cards. Outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. This is very much like hermit energy. Um, somebody felt like they were an outsider, and because they've been hurt before, and somebody was like afraid to open up and take a risk here. But you know, two of wands is you know going in a different direction, making a decision and taking those first steps that you're being guided to do, or this person, this other person, did this. And by taking that risk, it, it takes us, it puts takes this relationship into another trajectory. It moves it into the next step of this relationship because someone took a risk and opened up. This person is open. She's got her arms open. I don't think there's anything sneaky here. There's no agenda. It's, it's coming right from the heart. It's very authentic, real energy. Very down to earth, straightforward, no BS. Somebody's vulnerable by opening up and asking for reciprocity, balance. Okay, first love message is soul family. This this love is connected to your past soul life, and that's this six of cups energy here. It's a past life connection with this person. Promise all dreams are possible with this love, but somebody had to be had to be willing to risk being vulnerable and asking for this commitment. They want more. Somebody's tired of being alone, tired of, you know, giving, giving, giving and not receiving. They don't want to be alone anymore. And then rendezvous, have faith and believe a meeting between you two will take place. So if you haven't met this person yet, you may meet this person um, or this person's going to invite you. They want to get together with you. You're going to see them again if you haven't seen them lately. And then on the bottom is Snowflake Crystal. This love bond is as unique as a snowflake, once in a lifetime love. And this has to do with the season of winter. Um, you know, I think the, the winter solstice is December 21st right on the cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn season. But this is a very unique bond, and I think somebody realizes it, and they're willing to take a chance and go for it. Beautiful energy for you. I love this reading for you, Taurus. I want to be a Taurus. <laughs> Actually, my, my, my north node is Taurus. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoy this. Hit me up for a private reading if you're interested. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.